Hello everybody, today I am taking you to the toy store so we can buy some horses. When we come in, we have a huge Playmobil and there is so many toys. There is even a lot of Playmobil hockey people and literally so much Playmobiles. And here we are to the Schlicks. So we've got horses and unicorns and a lot of other things. Then here we have the 2023 foals and a couple other foals that are so cute. And then we've got some more horses. As you can see, I'm trying to have this 2023 mare standing up and looking at those beautiful other horses. This place is also full of puzzles, which I love. There is so many puzzles. Okay, back to the horses and unicorns. I'm not going to buy any unicorns. I don't have any Shrike unicorns, but I just love this family of three. They are so cute. Okay, so I started off with the Frisian Stallion. As you can see, there is still some let's say old boxes of the horses uh, as you can see so the red ones are the new ones with the new Schlake logo so I took Hannah and Cayenne because I did have them but it's not like the real Cayenne it's the kind from the house so I really wanted to have the real horse um, I try to make everything fit then I got the Spanish thoroughbred mare I know it's not like the real breed I think it's Pura Raza or something like that but I don't know how to say it so yeah and so I try to fit her in the basket as well after them I looked at a couple foals I wasn't planning on buying any foals so I didn't buy any foals but this paint foal is so cute and then I saw Buttercup and Indy which are so adorable I love the rodeo sets as well and then here we've got a lot of other cute sets and look at the blind bags I really want to have one of those blind bags, but I'm scared to have, you know, like a horse in double and not know what to do with it because most of the horses on the back, I have them. So that would be kind of weird. And then I started looking at some rodeo sets or Western sets that are super cute. And then we have the farm world and a horse with blue eyes so cute then i got the palomino and illusion so the first one had a tiny scratch on his nose so i went to look at the second one which had a bigger scratch on his nose and the last one had an even bigger scratch on his nose so i was like you know what i'm just gonna take the first one after him i went to look at this hanoverian mare she's so beautiful and guess what? So there's the old Schlegs and the new Schlegs, depending on their logo. And the old one has brown hooves and the new ones have gray hooves. I was super shocked by this. I didn't know if I wanted to take the first one or the other ones, you know, because sometimes there's some scratches or they don't stand. But I was like, this is the old one. So I really want it with the brown hooves. So now you can see the difference between the hooves, the gray ones, like the new ones, and the old ones are brown. So I found that quite interesting. I was like, okay. Um, then I got the old one, of course. I love the brown hooves. And I try to fit her in my basket. And 
the view from far is so beautiful. It looks like tiny little horses, but they are so big when we're close. I did get two boxes. One of them you're going to see in a future video and another one you already saw in either my last video or the one before my last video. And now it is time for the unboxing so you can see the horses I got. So we got the Frisian Stallion again, the Palomino Andalusian, and a Cayenne and Hannah. And then the two mares. So first things I showed you were the two horses. So here we got Vegas, that's what I called her. And then we got Tulip, the other mare. And then I started opening the three boxes. So I started off with Cayenne and Hannah. I just fell in love with this boy because as I told you I do have a horse named Toronto that plays as Cayenne for now um, but he's quite different this one has a flying mane and tail it's not braided it has red ribbons and he's just so cute For this guy, it was really hard to get him out because he was not in a box like the other horses. When I was done, I was proud. He's very beautiful. And then I started, of course, the Palomino Andalusian. I think I was most excited for him because I have always wanted him. And he's finally here. The Palomino goes so well on him. He stands perfectly. The blanket is so cute on him as well. 